So why is Bitcoin exploding overnight? Yeah, it's one of the most talked about stories, and it could be one of the biggest cryptocurrency stories of the year, folks. Bitcoin exploding over the past 24 hours, and you all have PayPal to thank for it. Because PayPal just gave cryptocurrency, mostly Bitcoin, a massive boost of authenticity overnight. So PayPal is now launching its own cryptocurrency service. Yeah, you heard me right. So that means now I could literally go on eBay if I wanted to buy some old Star Trek books, which I like doing, by the way. I love old Star Trek novels, like the original ones. So I try to dig for those sometimes and try to find some. Do I have any? Flo no, I have one back there on the shelf behind me. But And so like, I'll go on eBay and try to find some of those. Like If they're in perfect condition, I'll get them, and I love to read that. Um, so now I could pay for my eBay purchases with cryptocurrency on PayPal. This is the future, folks. So PayPal really just validated cryptocurrency transactions. Um, so if you want to buy something old on eBay, guess what? Now you can do it with PayPal and using cryptocurrency. And this is the perfect time to be investing in Bitcoin and other forms of cryptocurrency like Ethereum. Because what the Federal Reserve continues to do, which is continue to print money with all of their quantitative easing, and it's not slowing down anytime soon. So this is a perfect example, and I think, um, I, think, I, th I think it sums up nicely when you look at what's going on with cryptocurrency versus what's happening with the federal government. Because with, with Bitcoin, we know how much is in circulation. We know how much has been mined. And they're not making more of it unless they mine it, and then we know how much is mined. With the Federal Reserve, we don't know how much they're printing. They're printing so much money, we can't keep track of it. We can't follow it anymore. So would you rather be invested in a currency like the United States government dollar that is losing value every day or an actual currency that is decentralized and not being debased because of a central government? That's exactly what's happening. And I thought that this uh, sound yesterday um, was a perfect summation of why right now it's a perfect storm for cryptocurrency. Now we have this amazing tailwind because of the macro situation globally, right? We've got quantitative easing on top of quantitative easing, uh, uh, on top of quantitative easing all over the world, not just here in the U.S. Uh, today, the Fed is going to start buying, you know, ETFs. Uh, and so, on the flip side, the having is really quantitative tightening, and so you've got this exclamation point on the on the the story of what a scarce asset does you know what a monetary system with scarcity looks like vis-a-vis -vis, uh, or in contrast to what the fed is doing and so it really is just this perfect timing really for what looks like a macro story that people are thinking i should have one to two percent of my portfolio in this bitcoin because the probability or possibility that things go really poorly uh with classic monetary fiat monetary policy is rising there you go. Perfect storm and a perfect opportunity to be involved in this right now. So, you know, with Bitcoin surging to its highest since July 2019, yeah, it went up 5% on Wednesday. The only the online payments company declared adding crypto was a significant milestone on the path to mainstream adoption of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Remember, I want you to, you know, watch what they do, not what they say. And so these companies or other people and Wall Street types can all sort of crap all over Bitcoin because they want you in the stock market, right? They all want to they all want to talk down Bitcoin because it's the people's currency. Wall Street doesn't like it. You know, all of the major, you know, news networks don't like it because they don't understand it. And they're also scared of it. So again, watch what these companies do, not what they say. And so PayPal just validated cryptocurrency. They validated it. They put their money where their mouth is. So this is a really, really telling moment for the future of this currency. In many ways, because people trust PayPal, all kinds of layers of security. When you do a PayPal transaction, it's protected, it's insured. If you're using their platform, so 
this validates cryptocurrency. It, it almost in many ways removes some of the, the, the fear of using it. If you're now using crypto through PayPal's platform, it's just like using a dollar. This is powerful stuff. So now $13,000 for a Bitcoin? Experts believe it could hit 14,000 in the next few months. And so here's what PayPal's president, Dan Schulman, is saying. He said the efficiency, speed, resilience of cryptocurrencies give people financial inclusion and access advantages. He said this eventual shift from physical to digital currencies is inevitable, he says. Cryptocurrency, of course, is digital money exchanged without fees between two parties and with no involvement from traditional banks and no regulatory oversight by national governments. No wonder they hate this. And no wonder the federal government in the United States is moving towards building its own cryptocurrency, the Fed now cryptocurrency. This idea of having a digital wallet that I can use Ethereum, use Bitcoin, use the Fed currency if I want to, and pay for all of these things, and know that it's being cataloged by not only me and the person I'm buying or selling to, it's also being cataloged by a third party. So it's all being tracked. No state can ruin it. United States, China, Japan can't get in the middle of it and debase the value of this currency. They hate it. It's coming, folks. And we should all be paying attention to this. The fact that there are no fees between two parties and no one can debase this currency and the federal government continues to print money like this. You should have a portion of your portfolio in crypto at this point. So if you've got some savings sitting there, instead of putting that back into some BS savings account, like a Wells Fargo or some other government backed, you know, U.S. savings account where you're making 0.001% interest, which is actually losing money against inflation having some of your money in Bitcoin, or you can buy fractional share. You don't need to buy a $13,000 Bitcoin. You can buy down to the eighth decimal point of Bitcoin. You can buy fractional shares of Bitcoin. You can use an app like Coinbase. Coinbase is a great app. And make sure you're looking at buying BTC, which is Bitcoin BTC. That's the uh, trading name. And start to think about how you can shift your portfolio out of this corrupt government banking system and out of this government currency, which is just being printed like crazy. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. How much cryptocurrency do you own? Let me know in the chat below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please. We also have our daily morning newsletter, which goes out every morning. So we cover big stories like this for free, delivered right to your inbox every morning. Just go to morninginvest.com. So morninginvest.com is the place to go to download the newsletter. It'll be delivered to your inbox first thing in the morning.